Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So I'm back today working on the um, this Impressionism inspired journal with this fiber art cover that I made in the last video. If you didn't see my last video on how I made this, you can check it out. I do pretty much a tutorial on how I made it with exception to just not showing you on the sewing machine what I'm stitching, but I do explain that. Um, so yep, there it is. I'm really happy about it. And here's the yarn that I spun also in the last video um, that's going to be the tie for it. I think um, I'm not going to attach it yet. I'm also thinking about what I want to to do with the yarn. I don't know if I want to just use the yarn and stitch it onto the cover or actually I think I may crochet a single to make it a little bit thicker than just a single um, plied yarn. I think I will crochet it um, into a single um, and then stitch it on the outside uh, to be a tie. So that's my thoughts but I'm not going to make the tie for this until after I have um, already sewn in the signature I think or, or not sewn it in but at least um, figured out what pages I'm using and how many so that I understand how bulky it's going to be. I don't want to go over overly bulky with this because I don't want it to be like you know huge. I, I think it's going to do that nice thing that soft covers can do that they kind of go round you know a little bit but um yeah anyways enough blurbing. The next thing I want to do for this journal is I want to go through my big impressionism book that I have. Um, I'm going to be making ephemera with a lot of like stuff from in here. But first I also want to see, is there anything in this book that I could use as actual pages in the journal? Um, one thing that I am uh, probably going to be doing is including watercolor paper and um, doing little little bits of impressionism style watercolor on the on the pages themselves, like little you know maybe down in the corner kind of thing, because um, I think that would be a nice add. And maybe I can do it. I can do pages inspired by impressionism style. So. Um, I'm just going to get into kind of the colorful, more meat of the book and see, is there anything I could use as a whole, um, a whole page that I could like, I'm going to move stuff, I'm going to put the book down, that I could like fold in half, you know, to have in the book. Um, so we're just going to do a very kind of quick flip through to see if there's anything that would work that way. Even if it's one side, the artist's point of view shifts, it rearranges the visual field. Um, even if it's just one side. So like here's something that could be kind of nice. At least that side is quite nice. Yeah, I think so. this will be the first page that I'm going to use that as a page in the journal. Then I should check. Um, what's the width of this because I also have the option of pulling all the signatures out in this book um but actually that's not that's not too bad okay so I think I'm going to go sing, single page maybe um what I will do I will pull this book out of the spine so oops I need to move the yarn it's rolling away on me I need to get a project basket for all of this stuff let me do that Okay, so project basket, there's the cover, there's the yarn. Here's the first page that I that I will use. I'll just set that beside me. Okay, so let's get this out of its spine. Take the cover off. Oh, wait, sorry, I have to do this a little off camera. It's a really big book. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, that in my scrap then let's see what we can keep from all these goodies I love this this stuff this book spine there we go it's a nice grungy book spine that's great um let's pull this white away Okay, so yeah, that'll be perfect to keep. This side, hmm, we'll see. Can I get anything of 
grungy quality out of here. Let me see. All right, yeah, that's good too. And I don't think I'll be using this giant book for anything really. I don't, I just don't need another humongous cover. Although I may keep it around um, just to keep the book in while I'm working on it. These pages I'm going to keep as backing for my camera. Then up here I'll take off this top piece. That's really great to keep as well for a little bit. So you get those the header and footer of the spine. And then we can take a look at how the signatures are laid out here. Um, I think I'll be able to easily take this one apart. Okay. This one I think was all like text, mostly. one also I think is mainly black and white syntax. We may use some of those later though so third signature where we get into the good stuff. And we've already been through that one so I don't need to look through it. Now this one That was me yesterday yawning. <laughs> I think she's actually singing, but that was definitely yesterday me. I totally got no sleep the night before last, but last night I actually slept so well. I feel so much better today. I was totally like groggy yesterday. It was not good. <laughs> not a good thing. Oh, that's nice. I love the lamp posts. And this could be good as like a background maybe, but even if I don't use it, I think um, I'll pick it out. Is there anything on this side that I'd want to use? The other side, no. I think I'll just take the one, this one page and I'll use this side. I don't know about this side. The other thing I was thinking about is the back cover, how beautiful that is. That would be a really nice page, but I don't know if I'll be able to get the um, this evil sticker. These are the stickiest. Ugh. And the longer they sit on things, the stickier they seem to get. Um, and they never rip off very nicely, but I mean, I probably can cover it or actually just trim it off. Can I rip that? No, I can't. Let's get the scissors. Just put it in my scraps. I'm going to cut this off too. I'm going to try to find a way to use this as a page, I think. Because it's just amazing. All right. One thing about Impressionism is there was a lot of body study of mainly women doing like really weird contortion, which I respect for like, you know, its value of um, being depicted in art, but not, um, not for a journal. <laughs> I don't need people bending over and stepping into the back. Let's see. Oh wow, that's pretty. What is that? Ooh, that's gorgeous. I wish they were connected, but I'm definitely going to use this. Hmm. That one too. Okay. That's pretty. 
pretty. It's a rooster or a turkey. Turkey. That could be really nice. That's the picture from the cover. Mm, it kind of folds in a funny place though. Oh, oh wow, that's beautiful. And actually, so is that. Even like just as a background, I'll probably I'll probably cover up this face because it's kind of eh, <laughs> whatever. But I love this. I want to put that in there. Oh wow! Oh double wow! What a perfect page. If only they were all like this one, beautiful on both sides. Okay. That's tempting. Like, I don't know. I don't want to fold um, her face in half. Even if I were to use Van Gogh as the um, the center of a signature, I'd still have folded that beautiful, beautiful girl. Yes, of course, yes. And then we'll take this page, but then we'll still have this left to make a ephemera. A lot more pages in here than I thought there would be like full, good full pages. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I almost hate to waste these on the back, but that is just too beautiful not to use. Oh, wow! Yep, and that's a perfect page. White on the back, yay. But I think the colors are a little um, hard. This is getting into the redder colors, the brighter. And I'm just not feeling that for this book. Now we're moving into, I think, Gauguet next. So we may found some good Gauguet. Too red. I suspect most of Gauguet will be too red or subject matter that I don't want to include. But there will be Gauguet in the ephemera probably because there's beautiful ephemera. I think it'll make beautiful ephemera. I did some fun papery kind of stuff with my daughter yesterday. So we are studying Japanese artist Ruth Asawa right now. And um, if you aren't familiar with her, you should look her up because she's really cool. So she made some really incredible sculptures from wire and she was experimenting with different ways to try to protect them from the elements. And one of her experiments involved um, trying to use borax as um, like a protective layer, like a soap. Um, and what happens with it, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's good. Um, what happens with it is that it actually, um, I could use both of those. Yeah. It makes crystals. So if you boil one cup of water and three tablespoons of um, borax, and you put something in it like a sheet of paper or um, you know anything that you want to crystallize and you leave it in there from I'd say I'd go 24 hours you start to see crystals around two hours but I'd say just leave it for 24 hours um, so we crystallized a whole book page and it turned out so cool and now she's been taking the crystals off the page and um, experimenting with them looking at them under the microscope and that was kind of fun I like this side, but this side I don't think is right for the journal. 
I'm just going to leave that one for now. Ugh, this. <sighs> so beautiful. Okay, I need that one for sure. You know what? I need that one too. <laughs> this is how my journals get to be enormous. That's okay. All right, this is kind of dark. Beautiful, but a little dark. So I'll leave that one there. Depending on how many of these pages I end up with and whatever else, I may end up doing a second, a second impressionism journal. I don't know if I'll do the fiber art cover for it or if I will do a different cover because I also have about a million vintage books to use up, right? So we could do um, a traditional hardcover book with a nice, something nice on the front. We'll see. my family rummaging around upstairs. I think they are getting ready to go on a little drive. Also to deliver all my packages. So if you placed an order in my shop, it is shipping today. I even got today's orders packed up, so it's a good day. a little bit busy, I think. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Oops. I forgot to tear the signature. Let me just tear out the signature here. And we'll go back to this page that I like. It's this one. That's the last page. What did the first page look like? Now we're done here. Now we'll just take this one. It's so cool, the squares, like the circles and squares on the plaid. That's beautiful too. Wow. Oops. This book is so big. Okay. That's beautiful. Pointillism is so beautiful. All right, we're down to the last two signatures. This last one is just the, yeah, the end of the book. All right, so those 
That was actually pretty good. We found a lot of good pages, I think. And more importantly, there is even still a ton of this book left um, to create ephemera. That aside, all right, and let's see here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, eighteen pages from the book. So that's great. Okay, so now I think the important thing we're going to have to do next is create a template. So if I get the cover, um, I'll probably want to, I think I actually won't cut these. I like the rigidy edges. I think those will add to the overall feel of the book. Um, so let's fold one of these in half and now see where you know how tall we don't have to worry about width because these are actually going to be a little more narrow um okay and we'll cut from the bottom and the top i think because i can lose a little bit up here let's fold this way so then i know what i'm dealing with here lose that top border it's kind of boring so we'll get rid of this top border. We're not losing anything too exciting on that side. So now we can measure here. Okay. Then there. Okay. Good. All right, so now I need to prepare all these pages in the same way, um, folding them. I'll just take a look at what we, we aren't missing anything by tearing the border off the top. I'm gonna try to do that wherever I can to just get rid of it. It could go either way, kind of, but it would make this more abstract, so no, let's not do that. Okay, so there's no border on this side. There's only border on this side, and that's right side up. So let's tear from the bottom on this one. There. watching Rachel at Roxy's Creations today working on like some really nice like lace journals and um, it got me inspired to do more of this kind of tearing instead of always like mm -hmm. using my guillotine to cut my pages down because she was doing that and I was like that's nice. So the important page here is this outside one. I don't care about the inside. I'm going to be covering that up entirely because it's not really the kind of imagery I want in this journal. I'm going to go mostly like landscapes and interesting people. This is also making me want to work on a Modigliani journal that I'm planning because I love Modigliani. This one I will tear from the top because I like the dandelions on the bottom. 
This one though, I think I will tear the, or cut the edge off. It's got that glue from the book spine. There. I don't like that. You can actually cut your fingers on that glue. <laughs> Ask me how I know. is this cute little girl. That's who I want to save. Uh -huh. This one has that icky glue on the spine again. Let's just cut that off. a decent thrifting day yesterday. I'll be posting my Friday finds on next Friday's book haul and I will be posting my um I have to film my whatchamacallit my thrift haul of the other stuff. I'll just need my cover for a minute here. Let's see how much space I actually have because I have an actual signature here. So this one I will fold into this point, make it like a fold in. Okay, and then we'll use this side, and this is what we will get rid of from this side. I'll just cut that. Why doesn't the image make sense? I'm confused. Okay, let's tear the, um, or cut the top off first. Right there, I think. Right there. Get rid of that. That gets rid of the weight on the top. And then from the top, we can take this off the bottom. that this way so I think it can go a little thicker a little wider and maybe just trim just a little tiny off the end Same with this one, I think. Oops, <laughs> that's okay. No worries gonna have to be pulling a lot of this off anyway. Yeah, we're we're pretty much fine to just pull it where we tore it. Okay. I think everybody in the free planet is sending me an email today.
Okay. I'm going to go from the top of this one because I want to keep the sunset. Mm. We're definitely going to keep the sky in this one. We're not going to lose a ton of the town, just a little bit. But it's all about those stars and the starry night. This is by Pissarro, Boulevard Montmartre Night Effect. And I think I will probably, I don't know how, which side I will want to use in the signature. We'll see. Trim from, well, why don't we trim off the top of the bottom, actually, again. trim yeah from the bottom Getting there. Just get rid of this gluey edge here. It's not just a beautiful image. The other option that I have with these long pages is to fold up the bottom to make a pocket like this, but I don't want to do that with this one, I don't think. It's kind of plain. All right, and then this is that book cover. Um, so let's just fold it in half. Okay. Yeah, so this actually didn't even need to trouble me because I will be getting rid of it anyways. I'm going to save this in my scraps. Um, now on this side, I've got to get rid of this edge. How wide is this? Okay, so yeah, I'll just cut it to the edge of the title, book title that's on the spine. There we go. That is a beautiful page. Oh. Okay, when to go, when to go. to take from only the bottom on this side because this back page doesn't matter I'm going to be covering it with other paper okay there we go all of these now when I look at my spine or my journal rather let me just put these inside degree of 
<laughs> kind of normalcy. Okay, so move them down a little bit. Good. Okay, so there they are. They're inside. Um, now I think I'm going to make three signatures in this journal. So let's sort these pages into three, I think. Um, okay, so one. I'd like that to stay on the inside, but does it have to? No. So two, three. For some pages you have to keep in the center because you want to keep the image like as one image, like, you know, maybe that. I, I, that would be nice to keep together. So I'm gonna say this will be the center. So two, same as this one, two, not necessary. Three, sorry, two, um, three, 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 four. This is one I want to keep together. So here, I'll take that, put it in there. Put this one over here. Six. And okay, I think I have one that doesn't have a center image, and I'll make it this one maybe. Or I may swap it for Starry Night and put Starry Night in the middle. Where did Starry Night go? Not there. It's gonna be in this pile. There it is. Let's take Starry Night and swap it for this. There we go. So we don't need that to be a center. And then we'll make this the center just because it's gorgeous. Oh no, this has a center. Okay, center, center. Oh, we may already have three centers. I do, okay. <laughs> Well, that was all for not. That's okay. You know what? I think um, I'll make it the entry page into the journal. And that will show it the same kind of respect, I think, right? So I think I'll put this one in here because we still Starry Night from it. And we'll replace it with two to just make up for it. Okay, so now we have three of the signatures as they will be um, just with the book pages. I now need to um, do a bunch of things. So first I have to make these pages usable, which means making backings for any pages like this that aren't what I'm going to use. So covering them with like hand dyed paper, uh, fabric, etc., and dressing them up. So that will be um, what I do next, as well as selecting other papers for this. Um, so I will probably do that, and then um, in my next video, I'll come back to you and probably have something. Oh, look at that! I just found a perfect paper. Um, I'll have something ready and be able to show it to you. So thank you for hanging out with me today and I hope you enjoyed getting a little look at the direction that I'm taking in this book. Um, and yeah, we will talk again very soon. Bye for now.